But how big is too big? I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's ride this thing right now. Come on. Welcome to my shop and today we're going to talk about board sizing. How big is too big? He's probably heard a lot of people saying you might want to size up. I definitely have been pushing that. And so before we go too far into it, I want to show you a video. I recently got an email from my website. If you go to seanmarie.com, you can actually uh, send me an email. You got questions or whatever. And this guy sent me an email saying, I want to show you something. Uh, I've got a video to send you. Can I send that to you? So he did. And I, I want, I'm not gonna say anything, just check this out. My name is Jason Spiridon. Hi, Sean Murray. We've been watching your videos on YouTube, thank you. Uh, six foot six, 365 pounds. Let me just put my life jacket on. Oh, I can't. Oh no, it doesn't zip up. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna have to go to the other one. All right, we're back. Got a life jacket that I can actually get on somewhat. <laughs> Just a clipper only, no zip. We're gonna be uh, trying today, we're gonna be doing some wakeboarding. Let me show you my wakeboard. This is a Hyperlite. 145, great board. So, you're gonna be practicing some of the techniques that I've been watching on your YouTube video, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, jumping in. It's September 17th. Pretty cold water. Beautiful place though, Jordan L Reservoir. We'd love to have you come out and join us. Got a little technical difficulty, the rope is caught under here. We'll be back in just a minute. I'm picking it up this time next year 265 here we go <laughs> that's amazing Jason I'm blown away that is impressive six foot six 365 pounds and you're riding a state 145 now in my personal humble opinion that is a really small board for you I'm five foot six, 150 pounds. Jason is more than two of me, and he is riding a board that is actually not much bigger than the board I ride sometimes. My board comes in five sizes, a 120, a 134, a 139, a 144, and a 150. 150 is the biggest. So to put in perspective, me at my size, I ride my 139 sometimes and often ride my 144. So Jason riding a state 145, that is a little too small, but I get it. It's harder to find bigger boards. So that's where the Murray 150 has come in. For a long time, I was telling Hyperlite, we need to make bigger boards. And they said, all right, let's do it. So hold on. Wait. Okay, wait, what am I doing? Come here, look. So up in the rafters here in my shop, I've got, well that, that's the original skirt for 25 year anniversary. Uh, then that's actually the first skirt I rented, same model, not the exact one, but that aqua kind of teal one, that is my personal skirt signed by Eric Perez, Sean skirts up, Eric Perez, no big deal. But then if you look over here, 
these are my prototypes. So when we create a new board, Greg Nelson and I get together, we kind of brainstorm, and we put our thoughts down on paper, and then, it, the, then we go into the shaping process, and then I ride these prototypes. So that's what I'm getting. This is a big board. This is a 155. When we first started talking about making bigger boards, Hyperlite said, well, what should we do? So we did a 155 and in the end decided, all right, that's probably gonna freak some people out because go back about 20 years ago when board sizing was starting to get established when we came out with the twin tips. When you got past the mid 140s, the technology was so that the boards got pretty heavy. So anything past the, like a 145 seemed like it was massive and they kind of were. But once we learned how to make the boards lighter, going bigger actually became a benefit. The misconception that a lot of people have uh, is that if you go on a bigger board, it's gonna be too much to maneuver and too much to handle. But from my experience, uh, depending on how you shape the board and what you do with the weight of the board, you actually can get the best of both worlds where you have more surface area, which means you can actually generate more pop you can have softer landings because of that surface area, as long as you have like a good shape to help you. Um, but by keeping the boards pretty thin, you can ditch a lot of the weight. So you can basically spread the board out and still have a big yet manageable light board. So here is the 155, and I have an idea. I've never done this before. I am going to send you, Jason, this board, and I want you to ride it. Now, when you're done, I need you to send it back and, and uh, just for liability reasons. Um, but I do want you to check this thing out and tell me what you think. Maybe one day this thing will hit the market. But somebody your size has to ride it. Jason, I do want you to ride it. But you're not going to leave this empty-handed. You are going to have a 150. So Hyperlite is going to send you a 150 of your own. And you get to keep that one. Um, and I want you to ride that in the meantime, and maybe one day we'll come out with these. So to put things in perspective, size-wise, look at this thing's almost as tall as me, right? Um, size-wise, Jason riding a State 145 is, now I'm not gonna do like the math on it or anything, but it would be pretty much close to me riding the Murray Junior, my kid's board, the 120. This year it does come in a boy's and a girl's graphic, so that's pretty cool. Jason, I can't wait for you to experience what this is like. Now, I have ridden this before, but it was quite a while ago. How big is too big? I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's ride this thing right now. Come on.
155. Now that's a big board. Was it too big? Yeah, probably a little bit big for me. I'm 5'6". This is getting on the edge of a little too much. But for folks like Jason, I know there's not a ton of 6'6", six 365-pound six, guys riding, but there are some 6'4", 200 plus guys that could use a bigger board. So maybe Hyperlite will come out with it one day, but we do have that 150. So make sure you go grab one of those. They're tough to find these days. Do your best. A lot of online retailers, but of course, love it when you guys get into the actual stores and uh, go support that business. So size wise, it was actually kind of fun. I could see myself riding my 150 and, and being okay. So maybe that's another edit. I think one day I'm gonna go out and ride through all of my boards and uh, just see what the size difference and find that sweet spot. Now, of course, I do normally land on the 139 and the 144, but this has been fun. And more importantly, Jason, I think it's awesome you shared the video with me and that we get to show it to everybody else. And I think it's incredible. You also, by next year, want to drop 100 pounds. So all the best to you on that. And wakeboarding is a great way to stay fit, to stay active. And it's a great way, of course, to enjoy your ride. So Jason, I'm excited for you to give this a shot. I realize that you are in Utah and it might not be uh, weather conducive, but when you can get on it and when you're done with it, fire it back and we have a Hyperlite Murray 150 coming at you and look forward to you getting some laps in on that thing. Thank you guys for watching and always appreciate it when you guys like and share. If you haven't already subscribed, maybe consider doing that. And if you're gonna do that, go and smash that notifications bell then you guys know when new videos are going live. No matter what you ride, no matter what size board you're riding, always enjoy your ride. Peace!